All right, so in today's video, I'm going to cover the Amazon Launchpad and the Amazon Basics product research methods that have personally helped me find products um, and are very, very effective strategies to finding your next profitable product on Amazon FBA. So let's go ahead and get started with the Launchpad method, okay? Um, and both of these methods are very similar, but I'll kind of quickly go through um, both for you here today uh, over my shoulder. So. Uh, to get started, go ahead and go to Google and then type in Amazon Launchpad into Google and, and uh, click on this top search result and you'll get to a page that looks like this. And just to briefly recap, what Amazon Launchpad is, is basically um, these well-funded startups that are selling products on Amazon. So you may be thinking, okay, what's the benefit to this? Well, the benefit is a lot of these products um, have had a lot of, of, of research and planning that have gone behind them. So if we find a good potential product uh, within this category uh it's very well you know a, a a good selling product or has very good opportunity to sell right especially if we can kind of differentiate so um again i found a lot of great products using this method so type it into google click on the top search result and you will get to a page that looks like this and what you'll want to do is kind of focus on these top um categories here so we can kind of go ahead and click on one of these that looks um interesting to us so i'll go ahead and click on house and then in this let's just do home furniture and office and we'll go ahead and kind of scroll through some of these results <laughs> until we find an interest you know what until we find an interesting product this one looks interesting right here um, the abraham lincoln penny portrait kit very interesting um 25 reviews 20 dollars price point i'm just curious to learn more i have no idea if this is a good product or not it just kind of piqued my interest um but yeah you just kind of go through and you can open multiple products um into new tabs and I went ahead and opened up this uh, Abraham Lincoln penny portrait set into a new tab. It's kind of loading here now. All right. Very interesting. Okay, so Abraham Lincoln penny portrait kit. I'll go ahead and copy that. And um, obviously what we want to do with all these kind of research methods is grab the core kind of keywords for a particular product and then go to all departments. Okay, because right now we're in office products. We want to go up to all departments and then kind of copy uh or sorry paste in the um the essential keywords for this product because we want to see all the products right not just this one all right so we have sponsor don't really care about that we have obviously you know amazon's choice here and huh and it looks like that's about it we have these steel war wheat penny black whatever this is there's a few of those uh and some other options but not there's only one option of this which is very interesting to me so i'm curious and i just want to see because this is, this is the only seller um, of this particular product i'm going to go ahead and click in and kind of see what um how they're doing in terms of revenue because they have 25 reviews um yeah very interesting product so we're going to go ahead and click on the uh, viral launch chrome extension to kind of analyze this and i'm honestly very interested in this product as you can see um I also, Abraham Lincoln's also maybe my favorite president, so I might get this for myself. All right, so monthly revenue, 20,000. Price point of 20, like we saw, that's very good. And then 25 reviews. Very, very interesting. This is honestly a product I would at least look more into. There's no, I, I don't know enough at this point to kind of, um, to actually go into this category or sell, but um, monthly revenue is around 21,000, so not bad. There's actually more uh, demand than I thought for this product, um, or I would have expected. Good price point, um, review quantity and all that, and I'm assuming it doesn't come with pennies. Um, even if it did, that'd be fine. Very interesting product. Yeah, I'd, I'd wanna learn more. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here, but um, one thing that's interesting about this, right? So as we've seen from this, there's one seller. What if you came out with a kind of nickel version to where it's not, maybe it's not um, Lincoln, but it's uh, you know the president of whoever's on the nickel. I think it's Jefferson. I should know that and I don't. Um, but yeah, you, maybe you come out with a nickel version or a dime version of this or you know another version of this type of thing or maybe you read through some of these negative reviews. Um, it'd be great if they had a, a few more reviews, but kind of read through and see if there's any way you can improve upon this. Um, this is honestly a really interesting product that you could kind of... Um, you know that you could you could potentially sell a differentiated version of this product and actually do well again the one hesitation for me though also looking at this and i'm kind of thinking out loud to you know give you as much uh helpful information as possible is um there's not other sellers so like you know 
is this all from external marketing is where all those sales are coming from um, you know you know it's it's it would be nice if there was a couple more sellers that I could see you know if there was, there were two other sellers selling the exact same thing and that horrible revenue then I probably wouldn't go into this or I would still think about differentiating but maybe if there was a couple other sellers selling a similar or very similar product and they're both making you know at least six thousand or eight thousand ideally you know or more a month I'd be very interested in this product so this is honestly interesting enough. And like I said, if you came out with a nickel version of this, assuming you don't infringe on any patents, on any trademark, anything like that, um, you could have success with this product. Honestly, it's very, very interesting. I'm very interested by this product. Um, and like I said, I really like Lincoln. So that's probably part of the reason. Okay. So yeah, this is just one example and I'm not going to go into all the other examples. You know, let's just assume this was a dud product. You know, it, it was too competitive or not enough demand or whatever it may be. And, and very well may not be a good product to go into. I'm not saying it is. Um, but we would kind of go through and look at the other options in, um, in the, um, launch pad kind of with the launch pad options, open them up. Uh, you know, extract the keywords, open, you know, see what the search results with Amazon with those keywords and then run um, the Chrome extension. Okay. So, so yeah, that's the, um, so that's, you know, essentially the launch pad method. Very interesting. And then we'll go ahead and go over to the Amazon basics method. So again, very, very similar to the launch pad method. However, with the basics method and kind of what this is or what Amazon basics are, if you don't know, Amazon basics are Amazon's products, right? So Amazon is in uh, Amazon's in a lot of different things, right? Amazon spends all, you know, spends more on, you know, video production and movie production, TV production, uh, than I forget was the CBS or some other, um, you know, large company, obviously Netflix is the most, but then Amazon is number two. So Amazon's in a lot of different things. They have a, a, a e-commerce platform, but they also sell on that e-commerce platform and they sell their own products. Again, just like the, um, launch pad method, Amazon has its own algorithm and does a ton of research and market research and product research to find profitable products to sell. So you can kind of use Amazon's own data to help you find products that you can sell. And I know this from experience. I'm currently in two of my products. I'm competing against two of Amazon's products. Okay. A lot of times when we think of Amazon products, we think of Amazon Alexa or Amazon batteries. So Amazon batteries, very generic, would not recommend competing or, or selling batteries. Um, maybe you can, I would not recommend it. Number two, um, you know, creating your own like version of Google home or Amazon Alexa, definitely do not recommend that at all. And would take a ton of money. And anyway, very, very difficult to compete against in those categories. And that's a lot of times that's what we think of Amazon products. Amazon has a lot of weird niche products and they don't even sell it under the Amazon basics name sometimes, right? They'll sell it under a different kind of brand name or a different company name, but it is sold by Amazon. And in those cases, I'm actually competing against Amazon. And it's very easy to compete with them because they don't put a ton of effort into all their products on some of their products. And a lot that you'll see here, they do. And they put a lot of effort into the branding and market research and marketing and all that. Um, however, there are a lot of products that you'll find in the Amazon basics um, list that you can absolutely compete against. And again, Amazon spends a ton of you know, time, effort, energy, resources toward product research, you can kind of piggyback or use that to your advantage. Okay. And that's, that's the, that's the reason behind the strategy. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and go to, let's just go to office products. Um, you just click on one of these categories here. And again, yeah, a lot of generic, you know, paper pens, nothing I would compete with at all. Very, very basic stuff. Um, and again, you know, it'll take some effort or some work to kind of, you know, sift through some of these results. Just kind of looking through here. Oh, and I accidentally clicked on one. So yeah, but yeah, it's crazy the amount. And when you're going through this, you'll be blown away by the amount of products that Amazon sells. Um, it's quite a bit. Travel accessories, that looks interesting. So we'll go ahead and go through here. Travel accessories. Okay, so what I'm seeing a lot of just kind of, these aren't great FBA products, you know, very generic kind of, um, you know, type of products I probably wouldn't um, compete against. Again, 31 reviews, $75 price point. Could be interesting to kind of look more into. It's just, it's it's a product that for me would, wouldn't be easy to differentiate. It would be a lot of work to kind of create this product and all that. Um, and what I'm seeing right now is a lot of kind of more generic type products, like an umbrella or a bag or things like that. Um, again, you can definitely differentiate, definitely compete, but um, huh, I looked at this, uh, a couple days ago and had some different kind of um, different search results. It seems very kind of a, lot, a little bit more generic, but, um, but yeah, it's kind of, you know, sometimes kind of hit or miss. 
um, just a good option to kind of look into. And as you'll kind of find from, okay, I didn't mean to click on that either. I think Amazon's just getting me to click to try to get me to buy when I click show more. It just wants me to buy one of them. Um, but yeah, it's just a process. This is just a um, an option that you can kind of look through. Um, like I said, I, I was looking a couple of days ago and saw very different results. So I'm seeing a little bit more generic now and it could be with uh, some of the seasonality. Um, but yeah, this is updated, you know, uh, relatively frequently and it's just another great strategy another option for you in your product research so again this is the launch pad method and the amazon basics method again you just kind of look through the products find something that looks interesting open it in a new tab extract the keywords um you know enter that into all departments on amazon and then run the viral launch chrome extension and kind of look at you know and try to build a better picture and, and look at the demand right or at least four sellers making eight thousand dollars or more a month Look at the revenue. Are the top four sellers? Um, do they have less than you know maybe 100 reviews? If they have more than if the average is more than 100 reviews for the top four sellers, is there a clear way that you could differentiate? Is everything geared toward male, and you could you could make something more geared toward female? Is it um, is everything big and heavy? Could you make it smaller and more lightweight? You know, can you do a different design? All that kind of you know kind of think of that in your mind. But if there's not a clear uh, uh, you know idea for you to differentiate. Uh, you know, based on data, then I'd probably kind of stay away. Uh, but again, kind of going down a rabbit hole there, but this is just the general. Um, these are the two methods, uh, really great methods that have worked for me today and in the past. And I just wanted to kind of share these two methods with you today. I hope that you found this information helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button below because I have a lot of great videos on this channel and coming to you very, very soon. Um, if you have any questions or any video ideas, be sure to leave those in the comments below. I'm super excited uh, to share this with you and I really appreciate you watching and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.